Hi guys, it's Melanie here again, and I'm currently uploading a, a video right now. It's uh, haul one of a few stores I went to right now. I'm going to show you my handbag collection. Or it's not really a handbag collection, it's my entire bag collection. I still have a lot more at my parents' house because when I moved in September, I didn't think I was going to need all of them. And I wasn't really, I wasn't doing YouTube videos back then. I just started in February of doing YouTube videos. And also I figured if I needed it, I'd go there and get it and bring it back here if I needed it. And plus I don't have that much room here for it. And they can't really tell because nothing's been decorated yet. So I'm just going to start out with the one I'm showing you now. I do still have a lot of handbags at my parents' house. This is the one I'm currently using. You've seen this in my What to My Bag video. It's my knapsack from JCPenney's. It was about $13.99 or $12.99, $13.99, one of the two. There's a little hand sanitizer on it that was just in my haul video I'm currently uploading. And I like the knapsacks because when I walk around I don't really feel like carrying a handbag all the time, especially when shopping. I just want to throw it over my shoulder and call it a day. So, I like that one. And... This is the one I was using before. It was my Warp Tour bag for when I went to the Vans Warp Tour of 2010. I started going in 2009. I went to 2009, 2010, 2011. But I... Wait, did I go for... Two, wait, I went for 2008 as well. I did. Yeah, I started going when I was 18. And this year, after they closed down the amphitheater to open the casinos, I believe, that's why they closed it down. I'm not 100% sure on why they closed it down, but Bullet for My Valentine was the very last band to play there, which I did get to go see, which was an awesome show. They closed that down and started putting Warped Tour at the Blossom. And I did go to it last year's, in 2011, they had it at the Blossom. I took my boyfriend with me, and me. And I didn't like the setup they had there. And Warped Tour, obviously, you're going to have to walk around a lot. But the way they had it, everything set up with the tents and everything, we could hardly find anything. It's a huge place. And the way they had it so spread out, we couldn't go to see the bands we wanted. And it was very annoying and exhausting walking up that huge hill to get up to the amphitheater in the line. And... It just seems so much worse than when it was at the amphitheater. So this year my friends are going to the one out in Pittsburgh instead of the one in Blossom. But I won't be going to that one. I mean, I wouldn't mind going out to Pittsburgh, but I kind of don't really feel like going to Warped Tour right now. Or anymore. If ever. Maybe eventually I will. But okay. So then I got this. I got this at Target. Just a little handbag. It was probably meant to be a trick or treat. Well, it's not really meant to be a trick or treat bag, but I used to use this one when I would sleep over my before me and my boyfriend moved in together. This is one of the handbags I used to take with me when we'd go to the park or when I would sleep over at his place and just stuff clothes in it. That in my backpack. And this, uh, my friend won for me at Dave and Buster's. Mostly because the tickets and everything for like the family guy and American Dad and all the other things were too expensive and I had enough tickets to get the, some candy and stuff and I had some tickets left over to where we could buy this together and so she helped me get this it's like a little backpack thing I'm honestly I never used this so I may just end up giving this to my boyfriend's niece I think, yeah, it was 1,699 redemption points. I had enough for candy and maybe 100 points left over for this. So she paid a lot for it. It's one of the main reasons why I haven't given it to Carl's niece yet. Because I think it was really nice that she got this for me. But I don't foresee myself ever taking this out of the house. And since I don't have any kids to give this actual kids myself. I may just give it to Carl's niece who's like six. So I think she might like it. Because I doubt his little sister who's ten will want it. 
Next I have this purse. It actually used to belong to my mom. But she, like myself, loves to shop. And her handbag collection, it far exceeds my, what mine could ever dream of being. Same thing with her shoe collection. Like, I will eventually show you, probably later today I'll bring out and show you guys what I have. And, like, just so I can try and organize my closet and just show you as I'm organizing some aspect of it. But the only problem is, is I'm not skilled enough for, to edit that kind of a video for me wearing all of it like you see everybody else wearing. So please excuse the fact that you'll probably just be seeing a comparison by my face instead of me, you know, putting them on and showing you what they look like on. So yeah, it's just like a regular little purse. I actually used to usually take this one to concerts now. Or back when I still went to concerts, I haven't gone to one in a while. I was going to go to a dubstep concert on Friday, but I have work now, so I can't. Sad face. Could have gotten in for free. Because I'm over 21. Anyways. Usually I just stuff the wallet in this. and I do occasionally carry a bigger bag in case I know I'm going to buy merch. That you know, I can just stuff it in there instead of carrying it around with me. But when I know I'm not going to buy anything, I just take this with me. So that way I'm not the one carrying everybody's stuff. Next thing I have, which you can probably hear all the change in. Oh, I have that villain here. What do you know? Is this pretty bag. When I worked at Burger King, I used to always bring this bag with me. Along with my work tour bag. I used to use this one while I was working at CVS as well. And mostly I take this one out with me when I go on, you know dates and whatever, when me and my boyfriend go out on a date and everything, when I want to look nice and I have like a plaid bag hanging off my waist or shoulder, I usually take this one, Cause, or when I go to job interviews, I usually take this one, because it looks a little bit nicer, and I also have this one, which I freaking love this, because it reminds me kind of a briefcase, take it, you lock it like that, it's like this cute little charm on it. I got this at Kohl's. Don't remember where I got it, like. I don't know where my mom got that little purse. The Hello Kitty bag got Dave and Buster's. And uh, this one I believe I also got at Kohl's. Yeah, I got this one at Kohl's as well. I don't remember the prices of these because I bought these long before I moved in with my boyfriend when I had the disposable income to where I could just blow it on whatever I wanted because I lived with my parents. But the inside is this really pretty shade of blue. My mom and I actually bought matching purses. Because we're I'm lame like that. Oh, I have a lot of change in there, but I have uh, concert stubs in there. Peabody's Down Under Presents Protest to Hero. This was actually a really good concert. I got the used from the House of Blues. When I went to the used. I got to a fight with a the girl there. <laughs> and then Anna Fair. One. And. Presents Attack Attack and Amora. The reason why we went to this one, I don't really care for Tech Tech, was because my friend used to date the guy from Amora. They had to change their name. I think they had to put an H in front of it. That's how you are supposed to tell if they have like a MySpace and a Facebook website and all that fun stuff. But she used to date one the guitarist Casey. And she wanted to go support them in. Because they still remain friends after they ended. So they, she went out to support them. She would take pictures of the band and post it on their whatever kind of a site they had. I don't remember what it was. But yeah, they're like still pretty decent friends. So that's good news, you know. But yeah, I love this purse. It's so awesome. I just wish I could carry on all my purses, you know. Cause they're going to just be so awesome. Because I would be like, I have this one and this one and this one and this one. But I have this backpack on. I usually use this one. I go to sleep over at my friend's house. And, or when I'm carrying around school stuff. When I don't go to school right now, I have to study for my GED, but when I would hang out with my boyfriend, I'd bring my GED book with me so that way he could watch, you know, TV or do what he wanted. If he was too tired and wanted to sleep, I could study. So, there's that, but my G... And 
this is my GED book. I've actually been studying this since I was supposed to be 18, but I have, you know, really bad study habits where I don't actually study. I just say I study. But I really need to get on that. That's very bad of me because I do want to go somewhere in life. I really, really do. I just procrastinate way too bad. And this is actually my gym bag. I kind of haven't gone to the gym all this week. Mostly because I haven't been feeling that hot. Yeah. So. But I do plan on going next week. No. Well, not this upcoming. Well, later on this upcoming week or this following week. Because, yeah, I want to go swimming and right now I can't. For those of you who know what I mean. I don't actually wear these shorts when I'm working out, so I don't know why they're still in here. I usually wear yoga pants and an oversized um, Hello Zombie Kitty shirt. I don't know why I have those in there. I have my little lock that I use for my locker so we can steal my stuff. And I have my receipt for the Gemini Center that says I was allowed to be in there. And a broken brush from after I went swimming to brush my hair and put it up. And stuff. So yeah, that's a very small, small portion of my bag collection. The rest are, is actually still at my parents' house. I have, I want to say six to eight more bags. My mom has about 30. And she has like 80 pairs of shoes. I'll probably, after I put laundry in, I'll probably take the camera into the bedroom and just try to do that, show you guys that they are, try to organize it first and then show you guys like a wide pan of what I, or pan out of what I have and show you guys close ups of it instead of, you know, UCB digging through a giant box of shoes. And I have way too many hoodies, so well, I don't have like I have like twenty hoodies or maybe more than that by now. Don't honestly know how many hoodies I have, so I don't know when or you know if I'll be able to do that. And I don't know when I'm gonna do the shoe collection thing. If somebody wants to see my shoe collection, which I have a pretty cool shoes if I do say so myself. Got some compliments on them. Same thing with my hoodies. So, you know, if anybody wants to see that, let me know. And I can also show you, well, a lot of our DVDs friends have borrowed, so we don't have as many as we had. But eventually I can show you guys what kind of DVDs we have. And I have a giant bookcase with double rows of books. Books stacked on top, books underneath it, and a giant tote filled with books. So if anybody ever wants to see those. Alright, well, it's been about 13 minutes, and you guys are probably like, oh my god, end this already. So please leave a comment below if you like any of the bags, or if you want to see my, any of my other collections. Comment, rate, subscribe. I'd really appreciate any and all subscribers. And when I get a couple more, I'm actually going to host, I'm actually going to be doing a contest soon. So um, if you guys subscribe, that'd be awesome. So you guys can participate. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go and get some chores and everything done. I'll probably post a few more videos today. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. Love you.